Well, I just want to close with a few thoughts about qual and quant um, as we're thinking about what's going to be on the exam that's coming up. And the, the exam is not going to focus on the nuance of qual and quant, okay? I'm not going to expect you to know every single thing that we've talked about in this lecture series or that's in the lecture notes. What I do want you to understand is I want you to understand which methods we use with qual and which methods we use with quant and how they differ. And so, for example, in qual, we, we talked about four different methods that are all very useful. Um, and they all are geared at getting different types of information from different uh, applications. In quant, we really have one method that we can use in a bunch of different variations, but where things tend to vary is in the types of questions that we ask and, and how we're going to use the data from those, those questions to solve our problems. Now again, I don't expect you to be experts on either qual or quant uh, in the exam, but I do expect you to be able to if you're recommending an exploratory study, for example, to be able to recommend some good quality